Is this the end of Avgas? The FAA just released a draft plan to phase out leaded Avgas, and that matters to every piston engine plane owner. The FAA's draft transition plan to unleaded aviation gasoline lays out a framework to move the U.S. general aviation fleet from 100 octane low lead fuel to unleaded alternatives by 2030 nationwide, 2032 in Alaska. Leaded fuel like 100 low lead uses tetraethyl lead, a metal additive that boosts octane and prevents dangerous engine detonation. And that's why piston planes still use it when car gasoline has had lead for decades. The draft plan doesn't ban lead immediately. Instead, it outlines testing, approvals, infrastructure changes, and milestones for safe adoption of unleaded fuels. Removing lead is about reducing a toxin link to health risks and modernizing the fuel system, but the transition must be done without compromising engine safety or availability for piston aircraft, and that's exactly what the FAA plan is trying to balance. For piston owners, it means planning for new fuel types, possibly STCs or approvals, and watching how fuel compatibility evolves before 2030, not an overnight switch. Look, I've wondered if this is a solution searching for a problem. Is this just a bunch of Karens upset about leaded gasoline that's really not making the impact they're complaining about? I've taken a look at a couple of key studies, including the South Coast AQMD study, and they do show higher concentration of lead as you get closer to the airport, but the amounts are still often below national ambient standards. Bottom line though lead is bad and toxic and I don't want my children exposed so I can understand that. Hopefully we can make a safe and cost-effective transition.